Hi guys. So today we are going to study about the thermoelectric effect. Uh, in thermoelectric effect, we will study the conversion of heat heat energy directly into the electric energy. This is given by the scientist John Seebeck. So according to him, if we create a temperature difference across a thermoelectric generator, so we will get electricity. <coughs> Firstly, before starting the experiment, I would again tell you about this effect, thermoelectric effect. I am going to perform the experiment related to Seebeck effect, which says that if we will generate the temperature difference across the plate, across this thermoelectric generator, we will get the DC voltage out here and this fan will start rotating, which is the conversion of the electric uh, heat energy directly into the electric energy. This is the one of the very important ways which directly converts the heat energy into the electric energy. We will use cotton, we will dip the cotton in this and we will lit here. And I will use also LED to show the if production of current in this experiment. That's why I have used the LEDs here, different colored LEDs. And I have used this ceramic ceramic to put down here because ceramic is a good, good insulator of heat. So my base will not get heat up. That's, that's why we are using the concept of materials here because ceramic will not get heat up. It is a good insulator of heat. When it will burn, we will put down here and we will burn this and we will lit up by this denatured spirit and the conversion of heat energy will be into the electric energy out here. So now we are going to perform the experiment right here right now. Okay, I will start it now. So initially we should check so we should check on this firstly the voltage. So this is this all of you can see this setup this is the this is the base plate this is heat sink made from aluminium this is a simple CPU fan and I have installed here a Peltier plate or a thermoelectric module inside this heat sink the concept of heat sink is here to remove out the heat heat from one side of the thermoelectric generator to the environments otherwise it will melt so here the concept of heat transfer is used that's why this heat sink is used to remove out the heat from the hot side of the thermoelectric generator out to the surroundings so now we will start our experiment. Firstly, we will check there is no DC voltage out here on wires. So I will check with this with the help of multimeter. So okay. On this. As we can see, there is no DC voltage here. There is no DC voltage initially, no electric run through here. So it is shown up here. Okay. there is no DC voltage. So now we will start performing the experiment further. Okay. I have taken a simple cotton ball. Now we will dip it in denatured spirit. And it is highly flammable. As we will see now, it is highly flammable. We will notice the flame of this. Okay. And notice the blue flame, which is very efficient in creating temperature gradient across the thermoelectric generator.
as we can see the conversion of heat energy is directly into the electric energy out here the dc voltage the temperature across gradient across the thermal <coughs> thermoelectric generator is converted into dc voltage you can see so now we will check the voltage here So increase in the voltage is right here now. Five volt. We can check it on the multimeter. The DC voltage. Okay. Now, the concept here is used. I will remove the heat source now from here. Okay. The concept here used is we have created a temperature difference across the thermoelectric generator here. And we can also check the energy here right now. Okay. You can see this, the electric energy. Now there is no heat source. We can check it down here. As the temperature difference will go down, the DC voltage will also drop down here. So this is how the Seebeck effect works. This is the practical model of the Seebeck effect. We can check the drop of voltage from here now. We can see the voltage drops. We can see it. It is dropping very slowly here. And the fan is still moving. You can see the motion of the fan. So this is how the Seebeck effect works. Thank you to all of you. Thank you very much.